Good morning, and welcome to another great day at Fairfield Middle School, where we're achieving excellence together, and we're the home of Griffin Pride, where Pride stands for. U is personal responsibility. R is for respect. I is for individual readiness. D e is for demonstrating learning, and E is for effective behaviors. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. The career cluster of the month is architecture and construction. Do you often observe and note the buildings around you? Do you like to work with your hands? Can you visualize objects and projects in your mind? If you answer yes to these questions, you may like this cluster. If you get a job in this cluster, you might design or build houses, buildings, highways, or bridges. You might make designs and plans for new houses or buildings. You can use the plans to build new structures and manage a crew of workers. Another option would be to take care of, repair, or restore houses or buildings. You could also work on a breaking crew and tear things down. Skills needed for this cluster, communications, problem solving and critical thinking, academic foundations, informed technology applications, systems, leadership and teamwork, ethics and legal responsibilities, and technical skills. The character trait of the line is integrity. Integrity is being honest, trustworthy, and incorruptible. Always doing the right thing even when no one else is watching. Example, a firm adherence to a code of especially moral or artistic values. Being honest, trustworthy, and incorruptible. The college feature of the month is Clemson University. Clemson University is one of the country's most selective research universities, ranked as the 27th best national public university by U.S. News and World Report. Clemson is dedicated to teaching, research, and service. Located in Clemson, South Carolina, it was initially an all-male, all-white military school. Clemson Agriculture College opened in July 1893 with 446 students. Clemson became a co ed civilian institution in 1955. In 1963, with the admission of Harvey Gantt, Clemson became the first traditionally white institution in South Carolina to desegregate since Reconstruction. With academic offerings and research pursuits, the institution became Clemson University in 1964. Clemson has 22,875 undergraduate students, 5,872 graduate students, 93% on the first year students' retention rate, 80 plus majors, 90 plus minors, 130 plus graduate degree programs, 88% of the six year students graduation rate, 16-1 student to faculty ratio. Workforce Wednesday is focusing on the career of a care home manager. A care home manager oversees the day-to-day -day running of a residential care home and ensures that its residents receive a high standard of care. In this role, you manage the home staff, ensure that it runs a successful business, plan activities, for a medical care, and provide support for residents. The salary range in South Carolina for entry wage is $22,700. For medium wage is $54,000 and for experience wage is $107,000. Prospects for advancement in the residential care industry are good, as well as specializing in a particular client group. Experienced managers may move into freelance cons consultancy, or regional management, or become care home inspectors. Related careers are nursing home manager, care home manager, 
home care manager, hospice care manager, children's home manager, a nurse, care assistant, or a retirement community manager. For students interested in playing basketball, the parent interest meeting will be held on Tuesday, October 8th from 5.30 p.m. in the Fairfield Middle School Gymnasium. Attendance is mandatory. For those parents unable to attend, a meeting link will be sent to the student's email address. Students and faculty, it's almost time for the Scholastic Book Fair. The book fair will be from Monday, October 7th to Friday, October 11th with special hours for the parent conference night on Thursday, October 10th from 4 to 6.30 p.m. Please check out the school's website under announcements for a sneak preview of the books coming to the book fair. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Pitts. Report cards will be issued on Thursday, October the 10th with parent conferences from 4 to 6.30. Students, please remember the fall intercession begins Monday, October 14th through Friday the 18th. Thank you for watching the Daily News Show. Let's have a fantastic, avid day.